welcome back to the channel uh, Kev from KRT Electrical Services um, yeah welcome back uh, first please like subscribe uh, share obviously helps build the channel blah 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 and uh, yeah let's show you what we're doing today let me introduce you to my apprentice spot nice so anyway we're over in Haverhill Suffolk today wet horrible uh, damp uh, but we are first fixing the extension so let me show you what we're doing so single story extension uh, French doors window window blah 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 so very basic spec in here so we have in one double socket here drops coming down there one double socket over here in this corner one in this corner and then one in this corner it's all still exposed the builders uh only just done the knock through last week so yeah um, and then they're having a pendant light here pendant light that end and then the smoke in the middle so what I propose to do is um, I'm going to extend the uh, ring vinyl circuit which is currently supplying the kitchen uh, extend that out in here instead of running a new circuit because the fuse board is that way and it means us going into the house and, and creating um, mess underneath the stairs because the fuse was underneath the stairs so we'd need to get new cables in blah 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 etc etc it's just easier we extend the ring so first of all i'll test the ring make sure it's all good and then we'll go from there uh, in terms of lights like light and feed from this light fitting here because we can get out through the gap uh, and come out blah blah through there so yeah all good um yes yeah, so that's what we're going to do so yeah we are um should only be here a couple of hours so what i propose to do is make this first video show the first fix and then um come back do the second fix and show you from there so what i'll do is i'll get my bits together uh and show you when we're halfway through today's setup little giant ladders because we need to get up there batteries fixings back boxes sds Velocity uh, Pro, Pro Gear 6.0 PB bag, 6.5 PB in camo. Ooh. Right, laser set up. That's a box level. So we'll have that all around the wall. So one in that corner, one over there, one there, and one there. So when I've finished fixing the back boxes over here, I'll move the laser over here. Finished floor level is there. And the client then wants the boxes or the, the sockets the same height as that which isn't 450 but it's not a new build so we can pretty much do what we want so yeah so they're gonna be that low yeah I've got laser set up so we'll crack on with the back boxes and uh, go from there as you can see back boxes run it's all level so yeah I'll just run my cables down to that in some capping from up there and yeah so i'll go around and do the rest of these won't bore you with it so once i've done i'll come back and report back to you laser through the joists so we get them nice and in line where we want and then cable reel loop a bit off and then just pull thread it through the next one I keep that cable nice and straight, no twists in it. Don't want any twists. There we go. That's how I do it when I'm on my own. Then, when you need a bit more off, you just pull some off. Lovely. Just want to show you what I do when I first fix uh, cables up and down the walls in zone. So, here's got our socket, set the laser up, and then run my cable. So, this is for a socket circuit. So, there's two, two fives here. Then I set my laser up, and then this is where this comes into its own the DeWalt cable stapler. So, what I do is, whoop, what I do is I staple these in place to hold them, and you'd think. My capping ain't gonna fit over the top, but get some normal capping, and then basically fits right over the top like that. So yeah, 
So it won't stay there at the moment, but I'll take some pictures of it when it's finally finished. But yeah, that fits over there perfectly. So not only are you supporting the cables inside for premature collapse down the wall, but you've got capping over them to protect them. So that's what I do. Right, let's just turn that down. Right, so first fix socket circuit now. So I'll just run you through it. Right. Right, so my supply cables, they've yet to be clipped down there, but they're within uh, 150, 15 centimetres of the uh, corner of the room. So yeah, they run down there, as you can see, down to the first one. It's all capped, all tucked away nicely, grommets and stuff. So yeah, what I do with the capping, I think I showed you, use cable stapler, cap, and then use these capping screws. So yeah, um, run the cables through there, they both go together. Slightly made the circuit slightly longer, but I didn't want to drill the joists again. There's no reason to, so yeah, just running through the same holes. And over to here, comes over here, down to this socket within zone, and pops around this little corner into this socket. Excuse that little dip there, it is what it is. It's not out of zone, but it's just a little dip, so not as neat as I'd like to be, but it's secured in place. And then comes across to this one, then goes up, comes back, run all the way over. So yeah, that's the socket circuit's in. There's only four in this extension. That's all the client wanted. So yeah, quite happy. Um, just got to put two pendants up now. I'm going to get a feed from over there. So I'll talk you through that as and when I do it. Show you this. The cables come down here. Obviously it's going to be vaulted ceiling. So the cables go down on the wall. It's going to be dot and dabbed. And they go inside this this gap where this still ends and then go through into the kitchen. So these are yet to be clipped in place. And then uh, multi-tooled a bit of this ceiling out. And then obviously, cause I wanted to see what I was drilling through into, um, just put an auger bit through there. They come through and then this is the existing socket I'm going to take the supply from. So brought my two legs down. Obviously there's two existing legs. I pulled some slack through, as you can see. So what I'll have to do is when I come back and second fix is turn this circuit off, cut these maintenance free joints up here in the ceiling and then yeah, that will supply all of them then. So rushed ahead a bit but got it all done. Lights, smoke, lights, come down to the light switch which is capped and then they'll come up there through. Down, all through there, down, excuse that slight dip but it is what it is and we're not always perfect, and like that, and then that's where I've got my lighting feed from, so yeah, overall, nice little job, it's take me a couple of hours, three hours maybe, um, so we'll be back here for second fix and then I'll film that and show you that when as and when it's uh, when I'm doing it but um, anyway for now thanks for watching uh, please like subscribe all that gives me sort of a bit of motivation more motivation to create more content and uh, helps the channel grow so uh, yeah thank you very much and we'll see you next time